Go ahead and open up your Bibles. We're going to talk about covenant. And uh, I want you to go to Genesis chapter 15. Genesis chapter 15. Talking about covenant, we're talking about family. And I'm thankful for covenant. I'm thankful for family. Uh, Apart from covenant, I believe we have nothing. And our God is a covenant-making, covenant-keeping God. Let me say that again. Our God is a covenant-making, covenant-keeping God. Let me say that one more time. Our God is a covenant-making, covenant-keeping God. Let me say that one more time. Our God is a covenant-making, covenant-keeping God. That means God makes a deal with humanity. And it's more than just any deal. It's the strongest deal that's ever been made on the earth. You see, today we make deals in our culture, right? You got to get the lawyers in. You got to get lawyered up. You got to get everything right if the deal's going to be done. As a matter of fact, I made a business deal with a group of people not long ago. And we sat down and we're talking. I come kind of from the old school. My family's agricultural business. We we, we sell cattle for a living. Uh, Be fifth generation cattlemen. My my family were cattle brokers. That means all of the big feedlots where they feed cattle at, we would find those cattle all out of the southeastern part of the nation and sell them to the Midwest. And the cattle industry still works on a handshake. It's kind of crazy. You'll You'll make a contract with guys that's worth millions and millions of dollars. And it's still a handshake deal. It's the only industry I know like that in the world. How many of y'all wish America was still operating on handshake? Y'all wish it was still like that? I wish it was still like that. So I make, I make a deal with these people. It's on a business deal. And we're very, we're very uh, clear about the terms. Here's the terms. Here's what we're doing. Here's your part. Here's my part. Here's the revenue split at the end. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, it seems fair to me. Does it seem fair to you? Yes. I stood up. I looked the man in his, in his eye. I shook his hand. I looked the wife in, in, in their eye. I shook her hand. And I said, we got a deal. Yes. I leave. I get on a plane. I go back. And I get a call next week. And they tell me the deal changed. And I'm like, wait a minute. We were very clear, Right. The stipulations of the deal were were very strong. They were apparent. We could see that the deal was done. We shook hands. We looked each other in the eye. The business deal had been made. And she said, well, the deal isn't a deal until the attorneys have written it up and we both signed on it. And I say, maybe in your world, a world, a deal isn't a deal until the attorneys have signed it. But in my world, my word is my bond, and a deal is a deal. And if I said it, it's as good as done. How many of y'all think our yes should be yes and our no should be no in the Christian world? Come on, somebody give God a hand clap that our God, his promises don't change. They remain the same. And so a covenant is a, a familial relationship made with God. God gives us the stipulations of the covenant he makes with us through the Bible. In in the Bible right now, you're holding an Old and a New Testament. Could also be called an Old and a New, what church? Covenant. Everybody say covenants. So God is a God that draws people to himself. And he makes a covenant with them. We're talking about family. We're talking about a covenant relationship. See, the highest form of covenant on the earth Outside of Jesus' covenant with his church. Jesus and and the Father have made a covenant with us. He is the bridegroom, we are the bride. Come on, he spilled blood to ratify the covenant that we have. And the highest covenant on the earth outside of the covenant of God and his church is man and his wife. 